19, 19 tea growing counties. Globally, Kenya is the third leading producer of tea and the biggest exporter, accounting for 28% of the world tea exports. In the year 2021, the tea sector earned the country 136 billion Kenya shillings in foreign exchange. This year, we project the export earnings from the sector to start at 150 billion Kenya shillings. Despite its performance, the government is well aware that the tea industry has been experiencing various challenges which threaten its stability and sustainability. I challenge the leadership of the tea sector to come up with innovative and practical ways to solve these challenges to ensure the small farmer benefits out of their hard work. I am aware of the small tea, smallholder tea factories made a decision to fix a minimum reserve price to cushion farmers against the fluctuation of tea prices from an all-time low of 1.89 US dollars per kg to date. This decision has resulted in improved prices to an average of 2.64 US dollars per kg in October 2022. Several key reforms have been introduced by the Tea Act 2020, aimed at improving returns to the tea farmer by reducing the various costs borne by the tea growers, cushioning the tea growers against price fluctuations, and enhancing governance and operational efficiency along tea value chain. To cushion tea farmers from an upsurge in fertilizer prices occasioned by the global economic factors, leading to the decline in returns for the tea farmer, the government has provided 4.4 billion Kenya shillings as fertilizer subsidy to tea farmers in all the 54 small tea factories this financial year. We'll work together to ensure these challenges are addressed. I'm aware that KTD has enhanced initial green leaf monthly payments to smallholder tea grower of Kenya shilling 17 to be from 17 Kenya shillings to between 20 and 21 per kilogram depending on the region. Monthly payments to tea farmers are also being remitted on a timely basis by the first week. That is the fifth of every month as opposed to the third week. And I commend you. In this regard, tea farmers will be able to pay for the fertilizer with ease. However, I'm aware that the full implementation of the tea reforms has been hampered by ex parte court orders suspending the implementation of several provisions of the Tea Act. I'm also aware that though tea growers from 54 tea factories have elected new directors through the democratic system on one grower, one vote, using their respective factory company memorandum and articles of association, this has also been contested by the previous office bearers. Finally, in order to sustain improved returns to the tea farmers, it is important for us to sustain the momentum in implementing the tea reform agenda. Thank you so much and God bless you. Uh, our stakeholders, Mr. Pierce, I want to confirm. In 40 days, you have seen nothing yet. This is our sector. Please sit down. President William Ruto and I and our team believe the only way to sort out the economy of this country and turn it around is through increased productivity in agriculture. And the only way to improve the quality of lives for the, peop for the people of Kenya is to make sure that our farmers get value for money. And the farmers who toil every day get adequately compensated for their sweat. Our government is so keen on agriculture that in every discussion that we have with the president, this productivity of orthodox tea. On behalf of the ministry, I wish to pledge our prompt and diligent execution of assignments as directed by Your Excellency. With those remarks, it is now my pleasure to invite you to deliver your address 
and flag off the consignment before us. Ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency, the Deputy President,